Cut. Oh, get in there. <laughs> You're all fine, I got you. Hi guys, welcome to Run Gaming. Yes, Kate is in fact down with Alex today. A little bit of slice of life. These are always fun to do sometimes, and eh, it's an excuse, isn't it? I always love a good excuse. Alright, what you in the mood for? I don't mind anything, anything edible. <gasps> they were talking about pizza upstairs. I could really dig Italian. Alright, that pizza spot, and it's uh, up there off uh, La Mesa. That will do, yes. Some pizza, some penne alfredo, mozzarella, garlic bread. Oh, that's a garlic bread. Yes. I need to actually make you proper garlic buns one of these days. You do. You do, yeah. Night time mode. Oh, the world's gonna have to go plop. Mm -hmm. Those stupid bollards don't at work. Whew. <sighs> Getting all your work done? Yeah, I'm trying to catch up. Mm. Well, since I've actually been out of the office to where I can handle things. Yeah, well, you know. Soon you'll have a loose piece at home. I won't be underfoot okay. at the office. And so far, no one's given me a paper cut, so it's been really safe. Uh, it better be safe. Period. Well, I've had my ball and I've had four or six running around the office a few times, so that's been the only danger I've had to face. Honestly, at that point, the only way to treat them is just getting a shot collar. That's a not a terrible idea. So you didn't marry me just for, you know, everything else. I'm not married to you yet, but working on it. Oh, fair enough. Still. I mean, we're practically at that point now, I would assume. Oh, God, yes. I'm pregnant, not incapable. I'm fully aware, love. At the same time, I'm still gonna make sure you're okay. Yeah. I ain't letting anybody put a hand on you or this baby. <laughs> Plural. Little fuckers are not making this easy. I know. Why couldn't it just be one? Why do I have to do everything extra in size? Uh, Ugh. Yeah. This will do. Ugh. Ah, uh, <sighs> just water, please. I'll take a water, please. And you can go ahead and just start off with a pizza. I don't care what it is, just bring it here. Peppers, olives, uh, salami, ham, mushroom, um, pepperoni, beef. Forty is it? Yeah, yeah. How do you know that bottom is gonna be burnt? Yep. Okay. I thought it's adding any jalapenos. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's it's heavy for the pizza period. Oh heck yeah, I'm down. <laughs> I need meat. It's been real carnivorous tonight. Oh. <sighs> also. Calm down, not that kind of risk. <laughs> so, what got me into this problem know. in the first place? Yeah, well, I didn't hear you complaining about it. Uh huh. So I've been complaining for the last three months. <laughs> Nearly six if you count the morning sickness. Which I will. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah, you had one job and it's done. Me? I haven't got this shit for like nine months. But at the same time. And then it carries on for another 18 years. Hold on, hold on. Well, yeah, granted, I have to help with that too, but still. Uh huh. You get a nine month break. I get a nine month break? Yeah, you get time to prep for work. Or, what Hope about slapped. the. Hold on, what about running around for the random craving? What about me? That's just a duty. That's just a required duty at this point. 
Uh, that's still a work, though. Nine months my ass of taking a break. Comparatively, it's a break. Uh, fair enough. I'll give you a little bit of credit on that. Uh-huh. You're not the one that's turned into a factory. I you mention that. I think I have put on a couple pounds now. I think I'm getting into the dad bod. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Love you. Just I'll have to work this off the you. second those things are out of me. Uh, not for vanity, just because I'm not going to get back into my uniform. And I refuse All to become right. McMullen and I size up every year. Oh, eh, that's a whole different other issue with him, though. Mm hmm. Oh, God. <sighs> Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, this looks amazing. So how have you been feeling other than that? Anything new with the doctors or anything like that? No, the last check was good. Uh, they're both healthy. Um, nothing problematic so far. They've run the usual batteries of tests. I'm looking like things are proceeding as well. Both are in particularly good positions and shouldn't be any major issues. Um, one seems to be slightly underweight. One is about average so the boy slightly underweight the girl about average um that'll that'll eventually balance out this any change between the two of them as things go on like the size will increase as they get closer to term obviously but just right now he's a little bit behind where she is so i don't know okay. so any names are we are we thinking about names honestly i kind of want to wait a little I don't know, but we should we should think though, right? We should at least have some ideas. Yeah, I, I mean, I've thought, yeah, but at the same time, I I don't want to, you know, name it right now. You know what well, I mean? Well, not name, but we could at least think of good ideas, right? Like we know okay. we're probably not going to go with Christabel, or Florence, or definitely uh, not McMullen. Picard, or, um, oh, actually, what? Picard could be pretty cool. It's edgy, as a first name. Yeah. Ish. We could go with um. Are we are we are we doing like you know junior things? We could do an Alex Junior. No. Uh, that is completely up to you. Uh, honest. I, I don't want to say yes because of the fact that just makes me seem. It's quite jealous, arrogant, isn't it? Yeah, I don't. Exactly. Do you want to do Alex Junior? I think if it's a very last ditch effort, sure. Okay. Well, we'll leave it on the board, but not as a as a given, right? Yeah. Because that's just, uh, you know, too, too convenient. I'm assuming we're not going for a Clive, right? Clive? Yeah. Why would you want to go with a Clive? I'm just saying, I'm assuming we're not. You know, I'm assuming the obvious names are off the board, you know? Oh, yeah, anything that's just not us. Yeah. Okay, okay. That makes sense. I mean, I've been thinking a lot about girls' names, but at the same time, it just seems so generic. There's nothing real standing out. I don't know, I've never really thought about names. I mean, I've, I had ideas, but now it's it's real. All those names I thought about as a kid, what would I name my kids, don't make any sense anymore. You know? Like, now suddenly all those names are just like, they don't fit. I, I, awesome. Naming anxiety. I mean, I had to go from naming one kid to now naming two. I know! This is your fault! Yeah. Too effective. Yeah. I mean, if you want the job done right, do it yourself. Isn't that the motto? I hope you did it yourself. <laughs> just, um, just saying. Uh, yeah, no. Um, I mean, would we want to go with, you know, something Latin for your roots or? Oh, no. No, please. No? Little Jose? Jose and Husby, there we go. It's two. That's true. Not very ladylike for her. Although I know. Maria is a. Maria is a good eh. name. Yeah. Maria is. Well, it a sounds like the bandit, though. Would we? We wouldn't want to do that, would we? Yeah, that's. Yeah, I'd never thought about that. Think of all the criminals. We can't do Julie, obviously. Um. I don't want to give up my stock on that one. Great. Oh lord. She made a demand to get the two. Chain and the yeah, governor heard... from last fall. Oh, I was on the governor's detail the other day, and it seems like he's actually taking it into consideration. I don't know how I, I feel mean, about that. 
obviously she's not, uh, no, not currently got their hostages, but this is what, the second time she's taken people hostage to try and persuade them to change the name of a highway? Which is a bit easier, have hostages or give in and rename a road? I think that's where he's at right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh, that'd be quite a turn off the books, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. <sighs> uh, okay, so um, we're not thinking anything too classic or vintage, are we, or wild? Sort of moon okay, dusts how, and star childs and X Y Z plus two three four. Okay, yeah, no, I'm not trying no. to be another Mr. Musk over there. We're not thinking, you know, an old school name revived like a Gladys or a, you know, Evelyn. Oh, but Evelyn's a good name. Evelyn's Evelyn, a great name. I I do like Evelyn a little bit. Evie, it's that a good way, nickname. I, I was just about to yeah, say if Evelyn, I ever need Eve, to get mad Eve. at her, I can start calling her Evie. I mean, she probably want to be called Evie. We'd bring out, we break, we we could be the kind of parents that break out their full name when they fuck up, right? Like, oh, Evelyn sure. Jane yeah. Sanchez, how dare you? Oh, I can feel that happening. That's a good one. That honestly, I was debating about that, but now that actually, <laughs> from you just yelling the name and just hearing that, that actually sounds really nice. Yeah, I don't know about the Jane, but Evelyn's a good name. A Ricardo for the boy. No, no, no. Really want to do <laughs> I don't know. I mean, depends on what you want to do. I mean, I'm really, really pale, and you're really, really brown. So, do we? Which whose heritage do we lean into? Is it Cletus or Ricardo? Cletus or Ricardo? We're not doing okay. Cletus. Just, just for the record, we're Please not doing Cletus. Yeah, okay? No, don't, don't. Um, I'm not a big fan of Christian names either. You know, David's and. Whatever the other Power Rangers were. No. John, Paul, Ringo. I mean, we could name one of them Sam. Sam's I mean. a good name. But yeah. then again, how would you like to say it? it's like Triple S or something like that? Actually, that'd be a cool <laughs> wrestler name. Sam Andrew Sanchez, S A S. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Oh. That might be a bit much. We do need to think about bullying potential, don't we, for the parents? For the kids. Yeah, but I really doubt that somebody's gonna pick on a kid whose dad is on a SWAT and whose mom is the sheriff. Yeah, they're gonna the be state. protected, aren't they? No one's gonna fuck with our kids. Well, on top of the entire department. Well, the so criminals will fuck with our kids, yeah. but you know, the the kids won't. Yeah. They'll be like, yeah, my dad's harder than your dad. Yeah, well, my dad has explosives. Yeah, but and my mean, mom is I, in charge like, of the department. Yeah. Well, let's say, like, even with some of the criminals nowadays, most of them don't even go into that realm of kids, so I think we still no. might be safe with that. You know, Bella stopped me earlier and congratulated me. She seemed really off put by the whole idea, but. <laughs> uh, uh, first time I run back into the dog, I've... it seems like months, actually, probably years at this point. And she goes, Well, I think it's in order for a congratulation, but I don't understand why. And I was like. Yeah, and then she's, you know, going on about, oh, it's 18 years of this, 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 and I'm like, okay, well, thanks for bringing up the mood, Doc. Hopefully you have a great day. I mean, yeah. She's a yeah. trip. Yeah, she's a trip, but... Honestly, I think she just needs to get out of the lab a little bit more. I don't think that will help somehow. I think she's pretty, you know stuck that way Ooh, do you think banks might get mad if i ask her to borrow her for an explosives training i don't think she would no what bella or uh, bell oh god that would be terrifying no but at the same time i have a feeling that might be the first time in the department's history she might smile she might yeah oh no she was very fascinated to find out the mirror twins by the way she, she did ask really? if we knew she was fascinated by the, the genetic abnormality she asked if I had a history of genetic abnormalities in my family on my maternal line and if my periods were normal she seemed oh. quite fascinated in, in my cycles it was awkward really awkward I mean you should have told her for at least abnormality traits it was you know your part robot I wonder what she would have said at that point she probably wouldn't have believed me you know she has no sense of humor. <laughs> Probably not. <sighs> oh god, I'm so good. I'm stuffed. Uh. Uh. 
Home Alex, I think. What was that? Home, I think. It home. is nap time. Okay. Very, very soon. Yeah, that's fine. I can drop it back off and I'll head back to the office for a little bit. Or just take it back to the station and I'll get my sure. ride home. Mm -hmm. oh. If you need to work, just take me back to the station. Oh. I'll get one of the officers um, to drop me back. You sure? Yeah. Hey, what's the yeah. What's the you know, advantage of being their boss if I can't bully them? Fair enough, I guess. I think these kids are gonna love pizza. They better love pizza, otherwise I might have to put them up for adoption. <laughs> she says that's most of the night sell. That or Chinese. I think they'll be okay with anything. In terms of boys, I I fancy something cool, but not too cool, you know. Not you know like a, a Doug or a, a Chad, but a like a Matt or a, a Dan or but Peter. A Daniel. Daniel. Daniel could work. Or Charlie. Or an Andy. Daniel's good. Daniel, I, I like Daniel. At that point, we got about six different nicknames you can call exactly. him depending on the day. We got Dan, Danny. And a sister can call him D-Bag. Well, I don't think it's going to be a We're just queuing up material. Exactly. Joke that already writes the punchline. Exactly. And if we go with Evelyn for the girl, I can already buy her Pokemon plushies. Evie. Uh, you know what? You I completely forgot about that. Yeah, that <laughs> wouldn't make sense. You're such a nerd. Ah, uh, uh, midnight pizza is such a good idea. What are those idiots doing? Why are they doing traffic stops at the station? What the? Uh, I'm gonna pull back. No. No, I I got this. Stay in the truck. Mm. Oh. I'm still on the job, technically. The semi truck. The, so hold on. The, the, the semi truck is locked. No, I don't know. What don't is going on here? Um, yeah, uh, we're going to decide he wants to truck trash at the station. Why is someone leaving trash at the station? I, they're, we're already taking the job. Make it go away. Thank you. We're trying, I've but the door's a, locked. He, he thinks he locks the keys. Well, then the... break the window open and get the keys out, because it's not staying on the sidewalk I, or outside I know, the station. I'm sorry. I know, ma'am. Make it go on. Go on. This is, this is your Super Bowl. You are CVE. This, this is your Olympics. Your Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Your Daytona 500. Make it happen. Thank you. You have literally one job. Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to be cranky to people. What? If we don't find it, then they will take their time for this thing. Smash the window! Be fine. I give you approval. I have share for Google. Oh, we're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> you just made his day. I, I know. I'm going to go uh, move my car out of the way then. Yeah. But I will see you tomorrow. I'll be in my office. A little bit to finish right. up, then I'll see you, okay? Oh, okay. sugar. Right. I'll oh, see you later. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, did you could go? Uh, I'll see you in the night. Bye bye, love you. Eee. Another day out with Kate and Alex. Always love doing these just because it's fun little slice of life stuff, little character development moments, and always enjoyable. Ah, back to her desk for a little bit more paperwork and back off. Kate will soon be, probably next week or week after, on um, full time off, so she'll be completely off duty rather than light duty. I did, did a couple of station days with her, nothing's actually happened, it's been worth making to video, so I have to see if I can fix that before we take her off duty. See you soon, guys. Bye.